Good morning, Kentucky. Welcome to this ABC 36 News update. Here's what's making news now. Toyota's Georgetown plant will stop production today, just a day after a visit from the company president. Akio Toyota made his first trip to the Scott County plant a day after testifying before a congressional committee. Toyota choked up when he thanked workers who went to Washington to support the company during one of its toughest challenges. I just like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. We're going to refocus, and with what he said today, and when he choked up, you know, that, that really uh, kind of inspired me even more. You know, we're like one big family here, and and that just inspired me more to, to even work harder. Toyota spent several minutes on the assembly line visiting the station where gas pedals are installed. The Georgetown plant is idle today as the demand for cars falls. Governor Steve Bashir met with Mr. Toyota at the plant. The governor says while the most important priority is customer safety, it's also important that Toyota receives a fair treatment in the federal government's investigation into safety problems. He thanked me for our strong support uh, of Toyota during these tough times, and I thanked him for the strong support that Toyota had been giving Kentucky for a large number of years. They are a great corporate partner. They're going to continue to be a great corporate partner, and this just helped us cement a strong relationship and make it even stronger. The governor called Toyota a friend to all Kentuckians. A driver is dead after a late night crash in Scott County. It happened just before 9 on Muddy Ford Road, east of Georgetown. Police say when they got to the scene, 36-year-old Mario Lysaia, that is, was trapped inside a car that had hit a tree. He was pronounced dead at the scene. No one else was with him. Police say that alcohol does appear to be a factor in that crash. Alcohol also at the center of an early morning traffic stop on Manowar Boulevard in Lexington. Police say a driver was swerving in and out of lanes near Richmond Road around 2 a.m., so they pulled him over. After doing a field sobriety test, police placed him under arrest and charged him with DUI. His name has not been released. Fire crews respond following a possible gas leak in a Lexington neighborhood overnight. It happened around 2 on Vintage Circle. That is off Trent Boulevard. Firefighters say a woman called 911 after smelling gas in the area. When fire crews arrived at the scene, they called in Columbia Gas. Officials say no one was injured and no homes were evacuated. Well, Kentucky came out swinging as they tried to avenge their only loss of the season last night at Rupp Arena. Hall of Famer and basketball legend Magic Johnson was on hand to see the second-ranked Cats take on South Carolina. Freshman John Wall at 12 and 5 uh, points, five rebounds that is. Big man Demarcus Cousin added 19 and 11. Patrick Patterson has 23 as the Wildcats won it, 82 to 61. That is your update. Have a great weekend.